Alright guys, Veggie Gamer back, it's August, it's extremely hot out outside, and I'm wearing a Christmas hat and a scarf, it must mean it's time for a very part of senior year, uh, part, whatever it is, but it's the last chunk of the first act, is what I'm trying to say, and so, uh, looking forward to it guys, last time was excellent, it was a real roller coaster of plot, really emotion, weirdly emotional uh, Hagrid, which was quite frankly beautiful, apart from when, you know, he started bouncing Harry on his knee, um, and, um, and, 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 um, not Shelob, oh, I do this every t single time, I do it every single time, Aragog, there we go, Aragog, yes, right, yes, yes. <laughs> so guys, that was weird, anyway guys, it's absolutely wonderful, and so now we're moving on, I presume that we are actually going to get Voldemort visiting his family, I do think that Snickers are going to be relevant in it, but we shall see exactly how it goes, because that was very, like, well not certainly, yeah, definitely not certainly, it was put it, you know, that, that, um, teaser, I guess you call it, I don't know. The hint was put in there, and so we shall see. I ain't got any Snickers, guys, unfortunately. Like I say, I wanted to get red vines for, for the previous episode, but I just couldn't. And uh, there are vegan Snickers, but I just didn't get the most art, so I apologise. So maybe for, maybe for the second act, we'll, we'll get something going. But either way, how are you? Let me know in the comments, guys. I never, I never asked that guy. Let me know how how, how your day's going in the comments. I'd, 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 I'd like to know. Either way, guys, let's check this out. I guess no, no further ado. This is a very short intro for me. But like I say, guys, we're, we're back. I'm sorry that the, the, these two are going to be a bit shorter. But I will try and do the second act in a bit chunkier bits. And also, I need to be getting you other Harry Potter stuff, guys. Because right now, it's basically this or, um, or, or the book club. We need to get back to Hogwarts Legacy at some point when I'm able to live stream again. Um, and uh, behind the scenes stuff, there's so much Harry Potter stuff. Which, which I, the, the other video games as well, not just Hogwarts Legacy. Um, I think I've actually, I think I bought the Lego Harry Potters ages ago. I just never got round to actually blooming getting them on the channel. And so we've got plenty of Harry Potter stuff to go. If there's any other Harry Potter stuff you want me to check out, please do let me know. Um, on the Patreon, I have the third uh, Fantastic Beasts reaction uploaded already, guys. Um, to sync to it, you'll need your own copy of the movie. But, um, but yeah, that, that's been on there for ages, but I've had such little time to edit. It, it's so bad how long it's taken me to get those out. So, I, 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 I enjoyed it, guys. I, I really did. I, I've, I've read people's criticism of it, but I, I, I enjoyed all the Fantastic Beasts movies. Um, I do feel like it would have been better if the story was more focused on Newt and the gang, you know? Um, Queenie, uh, Jacob, and Tina. The lovely Tina. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's a uh, Yeah. Maybe we'll get something else in the future. <laughs> anyway, guys. Uh, and obviously, we've started Goblet of Fire on the on the Patreon now in, in the book review. Because on, on the book reviews, guys, uh, we're always a couple of episodes ahead on the Patreon. And so, if you've finished the book reviews uh, and you want to get um, where we're up to on YouTube, you can pay as little as you want on the Patreon and get access to, 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 to the new stuff that is on there. So we're currently just we're, we're in the we're in the bit where you're basically putting together your book club messages about the first three chapters of Goblet of Fire. And so if you want to be a part of that, you can be. Very looking forward to getting that book started because so many people have said that it is either their first or second favorite book and their least favorite movie. That seems to be quite common. Although I did see one person who said it is their favorite movie and their favorite book. Controversial. I think I did. Maybe I've dreamt it. Anyway, guys, let's get on with this. Let's find out. I reckon that's it for Hagrid. I reckon he's a one and done. And it was Lupin, wasn't it? It was definitely Lupin. The actor, I should say. And we did see Snape last time as well, didn't we? I can't remember who we bloom and played. Nearly Headless Nick, was it? I think it was. It was, wasn't it? I think. Okay, maybe it wasn't. Anyway, let's get over to a very Potter senior year. And of course, guys, we'll be doing more Team, team Star Kids in the future as well. Actually, you know, oh, someone pointed out, and I really, really need to do this. I need to get a playlist together. And so if you're watching this when it's new, so sorry that right now there's just a Harry Potter playlist. And it's fl flipping huge. <laughs> it's like absolutely massive. It's got everything in there. I really need to separate Team Star Kids once. Book reviews. You know, separate, separating the sections and everything, you know. Because right now it is getting chunky. So I apologise about that. 
uh, if you've been waiting on the playlist for us, Team Star Kid, because we will. I always go to take Team Star, Star Kids, because we will be checking out more Team Star Kid in the future, guys. Very looking forward to all the suggestions that that that, that you've had, that you've given me. So let's get over to a Barry Potter senior year, the end of the first act. Subtitles already on, and five, four, three, two, one. Lights up on Ginny in the Gryffindor girls' dorm. Oh, Ginny, she's insane in this. Oh, diary. That date was a total bust. I don't even remember most of it. And then I saw Harry again. Harry? And he yelled at me. It did Diary, escalate. Do things ever turn out the way you want them to? Show me in another magic flashback. <laughs> Wakes up on Tom Riddle, who sits oh in the bedroom goodness. of the Riddle house. Bless him. Dear oh, here we go. Diary journal. Diary journal. I feel great. I haven't killed or maimed or tortured anything ever since I got to Little Angleton. And, well, How can you feel great? That's kind of a big deal for me. I've just been hanging out with Grandma and Grandpa. Oh. And tonight, well, tonight could be the most important night of my life. Tonight I meet my father, and I just know that, well, he's gonna love me. Because in a magical way. It's strange not hating everything that you see anymore. Oh, don't. I've got a new feeling in my chest. I love this Voldemort, guys. He's great. Even, I don't even know what it is. This version of Voldemort. But I think that it might be something really special. Well, diary. Nice chair. Wish me luck. <clears throat> Tom uh, puts his diary away and heads downstairs, where he finds his grandfather. Oh, it's one. That's what it was. Oh, my giddy aunt. Or uncle. Hey, Boy, Grandpa. hey, Grandpa, come here. Pull my finger. Okay. Oh my goodness! Wait, why? Is that magic? Pull it. Okay. No, no. Oh, you made me pull my pants. Took it too far. Junior, you didn't pull his finger, did you? Uh, he he told me to. Well, you can't always listen to. Everything Tom says, Junior. Ah. He still thinks he's in the war. Oh. Now you made this mess, and now you got to clean it up. Uh, what? Well, okay, Grandpa. Let's get you cleaned up. I'm very defensive of this Voldemort. I really am. <laughs> it's just weird to think. Oh my uh, goodness. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Um, Unbutton my pants. I don't know how. Okay. On stage. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Please don't. Hey. Uh, what a start, guys. What a start. My wiener. I. I have to. There's poop on it. We go from that hagrid scene to this. Oh no, no you're wiping. I know. Oh I know. my I'm, I'm trying god. To make it all set, oh, Wipe your damn fool, you got a damn Barry. Oh. Hey, will you help me? Oh. What have I clicked on, guys? You're not wiping on his anus, are you? Uh, I, I, no, I, yeah, nobody told me to dab. He has an irritated anus, Junior. Yes, yes. You could have killed him, you monster. Now I'm on the phone really? with my sister. There Tom? you go, Grandpa. I'll Hold on, but we don't want it. What? Are you? Uh, don't know what are doing? Mom! Mom, I'm home! My dad is sucked! Is this the dad? Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. Don't you recognize me? It's me, little Tommy Jr. Dad, it's your son. No! No! Dad, what's, what's wrong? Oh, are you ashamed for abandoning me in that awful orphanage? Well, it's all right. It's These performances, it's guys, are the ridiculous. Wherever you like it. Hey, Mom! Oh. Do I really have to talk to this guy? Oh, stop your belly aching, Tom. I told you that relationship of yours would come back to bite you in the bum. Now, let's Irritated? all just sit down and 
enjoy a nice cordial Christmas dinner. Cordial Christmas dinner? It's the last thing I need. Come on, right there. Okay. Is he all clean now? Oh, I don't want to think oh, about it. So, Dad. Physical theatre. What? I have so many questions, so many things that I've been wondering my entire life. Where do I even start? Um, okay. He looks like Sam What's from Lord of the Rings. Oh, well, she was cross. She didn't even have a nose. She looked like you. Only, when you don't have a nose, you look like a snake. But she looked like a pig. Have you, have you ever, have you ever seen a Ninja Turtles? Yeah. Okay, alright, so like Shredder? Yeah, she's got Uncle like Phil? A rhino. Yes! She's got Rocksteady! Like Warthog. Bebop. Yeah. Bebop. She looked like Bebop! Only Bebop was fit! Okay, but... Bebop's got a huge... Uh, uh, who cares? But she was beautiful Very cool on glasses. the inside. And that's why you loved her so much. No! I didn't even like her. She just got me drunk one night when I was high. God! Yeah, but Dad, you must have felt something. Oh. oh, don't touch him! He doesn't like to be touched when he has his headphones on. Right. And now that's enough questions about your mother, Junior. I never liked that Miss Piggy character one bit. Mm. People. She was always on the drugs, and she made him go on the drugs, too. Well, what about you, Junior? Do you have a girlfriend? Um, no. Uh, I don't really have time for girls. Well, why not? What's wrong with you, boy? Oh, leave him alone, Toms. He's probably just busy with all them sports, big strapping young man like yourself. Well, what sports do you play, Junior? Good question. Well, I kind of play a sport. Oh. I, um... Okay. I dance. What? Oh, okay. Well, I was going to say, just, did, did he play quick? You know, dance. Tom? Tap, jazz, ballet. I don't, think, I don't think I've heard of that. Not I'm into also musicals. Really good at dark magic. God! Who do with the magic already? Your mom was always running around talking about magic. And she's always like, Dumb about doll. Dumb about doll. Quit X. Quit X. I don't get it. Why, why didn't you want to talk about magic with mom? Because it's not real. Oh, balls. What? Your stupid mom just thought it was. A Vodka drugs. <laughs> Drink it. It's all in the mind. It's like, show me Hogwarts on a map of the United States of America. <laughs> it doesn't exist. Yeah, of course you can't find Hogwarts on a map. It's invisible. It's protected by a magic bubble. God damn it, Junior. What kind of drugs are you on? Oh, I'm I see. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You're on drugs. No, I'm not. You're on drugs. So what? No, I'm pooping. <laughs> oh, look at all of us fighting like this. The dad is a. Did. What is this performance? You ruined Christmas, Junior. <laughs> this is stranger than the spider saint. Just open our presents and get this whole disaster over with. Okay, fine, but. And I'm sorry if this sounds crazy, but for a second there, you all just sounded like horrible, disgusting muggles, that's all. Muggles! Yeah, right. Huh, that's what your mom always used to call us. She called yeah. us muggles. God, she's so annoying. It's like the only that good face. thing uh, about you being born muggles? is that you oh. killed her when you came out. And then she uh. stopped calling me. Uh. And it's like, what do I gotta do? Uh. Oh, what's he gonna do? He stop calling uh. me. Muggles! Oh no. Muggles! Take him out! No! <laughs> oh, okay. No! Oh, God! No! Tom! Tom! Control Dramatic me. music! Oh, Remember what Dumbledore told you? They are your family, after all. If you want them to accept you, you have to accept. Oh, no! Well. Oh. What's this gonna be? Let's go, Junior. I hope you like it. Snickers! I'm, I'm buying it. It's just there, guys. It's gotta be. It's got to be. What What else could it possibly be? Sneakers. <laughs> Call back. Many ones. What? What? Sneakers. 
Why is it such a light colored packet? Well, there's the video title. Little little yeah, I knew. Oh, 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 nice little slow motion effect. All because of Snickers, guys. Lights up. Look, they didn't give me a Kit Kat. Attention, all the Hogwarts students. The last day of the term has arrived, and it's time for the head boy election. Please report to the Great Hall immediately, as the results ceremony will begin as soon as the final votes have been tallied. Thanks a very good McGonagall. Hi, right, Ron. Today's the day. I think my heroes. Right. I mean, I can beat Malfoy, can't I? Oh, you're gonna beat his pants off. <sighs> hey, Neville, Luna, my loyal DA. Did you guys vote for me? Well, not exactly. Well, good luck. <laughs> hey, hey, guys. I, I know I've uh, been having trouble. We haven't really been getting along lately, but uh, I can count on your vote, right? Yeah. Don't hold your breath, Pa. Come on, Jimmy. Oh, I still go with, with Jenny. Hermione, there you are. You're the best. Looking good. Oh, listen, did you, you vote for me, right? Uh, well... All right, children. Get on you, Hermione. Silence. Seriously. Silence. I just received the voting results, and it's clear to me that some of you did not take this election seriously. <laughs> In second oh. place, receiving a total of two votes, Mr. Draco Malfoy. Whoa. Oh, Malfoy. Two oh, big moment. It's more than I was expecting. So, was it Crab and Goyle? You're proud as a peacock. <laughs> Take that, Malfoy. <laughs> two votes. Who looks stupid now? And tying for second place, also with two votes, Mr. Harry Potter. Wait, what? 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 I, I caught it for um, me. As did I. Crab and Goyle won the die, didn't they? Oh, oh, what? Who did you vote for? <laughs> just, just wait for it, Harry. <laughs> oh my God, who's it gonna be? The election in a it's not this person here, is it? Eight hundred sixty-seven votes. Fozzie Bear. Yeah! Wacka, wacka, wacka. You children are proud to say. Yeah! What? Do you think this is funny? Goyle cry. <laughs> <laughs> Was it crap? It's cool, yeah. On that silly bear. Yeah! yeah! Silence. Now, Fozzie Bear can't very well be our newest head boy. What is going on? This is so weird. Fozzie Bear is a puppet who fancies himself a comedian. And even if he weren't a puppet, he's a bear. I'm sorry, but all votes for Fozzie Bear must be thrown out. Cool. It's I swear they. Goyle now, was really I'm not upset sure just who's now. Behind this prank, but because of your outlandish immaturity, this election has ended in a disastrous draw. Yay! Yay! Tisk tisk tisk. For oh shame my goodness! On you all, I myself took this business very seriously. Why? That I voted for guys. Draco Malfoy, as did my brother, Littleroy Gockhart. There's only one Little way Roy? to break this tie, Headmaster. As defense against the dark arts teacher, I suggest a wizard duel. Gasp. Yes, a wizard duel, with our darling little Draco in one corner and that tootastic stinker Potter in the other. The winner Neville will be like Headboy, and the loser will be just that. A big, fat loser. A wizard duel? Well, it seems fair, but putting the children in unnecessary danger for sport? Oh dear, what would Dumbledore do? It's okay, Professor, I'm not, I'm not scared of Malfoy. Oh, all right. All right, children, clear these benches. Back away as far as you can. You know. Wow. Goyle, I've Dude. been thinking. What does this election really mean to me, anyway? Is it worth endangering my friendship with my oldest friend, Harry Potter? What say you, campaign manager? No. Hmm. Well, then it's settled. I shall march over to the headmaster and concede my candidacy. Goyle is Malfoy. arguably one of the best Harry, things about these guys. You <laughs> really have come to a decision. So have I. You better get ready, because I'm going to kick your butt so hard you're going to burp out farts. <laughs> Harry, now, I know this green-eyed election monster has gotten the best of us, but let's not forget that we're friends. No, no, we're not, Malfoy. Don't you get it? He I never, never gives was, up, does I he? I never will be your friend. I... I hate you. Oh, I see. So it is to be war betwixt us. All right, boys. I want to see a good, clean duel. Okay, on the count of four. A one, two, three, four. 
Oh, he's back on the piano. <laughs> you guys were pointing out that he was the pianist on the first musical, right? Yes. He's, 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 he's been a pianist, pianist, pianist in the bar. Funny getting a song. Call the memories we shared. You never once were nice. You never cared at all, now you will, I'll have you running scared. Draco Malfoy, you know nothing of my life. All I am is what I do. <laughs> McGonagall. Makes a great McGonagall, that guy, he really does. You win. Cedric, it? You snobbish evil brat, surrender now before I come. Like persona moves again. Oh, here we go! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Terrible for white Drake to win! This is too intense again. This is just straight up an awesome song. Oh, punch you, fine. The Snickers box. Oh, nice. Physical fear, guys. Hey, listen, Snake. I know your life is kind of ah, possible. If I was in your That's a grin on that guy's face. I wouldn't be so tough. But I can see the girl inside. Oh, babe, you really shine. Is it not, it's not uh, Najiri, is it? Najiri? That's a good girl. Najiri? Yes. That's right. Just. Oh, if it is, then that's one of the whole cracks is the that we have Obviously, it's not. What? It's not very vegan. Oh, the crowd abroad! Yeah. I beat the snake! If you know what I mean! You guys see that? See what that, what that was? He talked to a snake, is what I saw! Oh, what yes! I heard was a bunch of hissing. Yeah. He's a parcel tongue. Just like Salazar Slytherin. Oh, d -d 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 dear. Oh, my. What if. <laughs> Piglet over it. Is the heir of Slytherin. <gasps> Gasp. That's ridiculous. That would mean that Harry was the one opening the Chamber of Secrets. It would make sense, wouldn't it? What, Potter, were you so desperate for attention? Can't stop. You just I can't need to be the main Goyle, character guys. of everyone's life, don't you? But no mystery to solve this year. So you decided to make one. Open the chamber, petrify students all year, and then save the day at the last minute, and everyone will cheer you like you're some sort of hero? But that's not what's happening. You guys believe me, right? Tina, Luna. Oh, this dude, your trolley boy. woman doesn't. Get it through that thick skull of yours. Nobody likes Harry Potter anymore. Oh. Whatever spell you've had over the world has faded. We've all moved on. So why haven't you? I'm out of here! Harry, wait! Ah. Oh. Well, Good I on, Jenny. exiting the dueling arena, Potter has forfeit. That means the winner and newest Hogwarts head boy is none other 
than Draco Malfoy. Thank like you, that, Professor. Fever. Draco Malfoy shall rule over the school with peace and love for a thousand years. Lavender but is not first impressed. comes a time of swift oh, that's, No, that's Lavender, isn't for it? I shall rain down a vengeance upon all those who have teased me in the past. Welcome to my nightmare, slaves. The age of Harry Potter has ended. You're so nice, the reign just of Draco Malfoy has begun! <laughs> <laughs> and he got to sing as well. Draco has the power. Harry runs out of the Great Hall into the hallways this is, of Hogwarts. Um, Newt Scamander's Harry, one, by the way. Harry, wait! What do you want? To talk uh, about the diary you gave me. Tom's diary. Oh, nice Harry, work! Harry, we need your help. Oh, yeah, like, like you helped me in the Great Hall? You didn't even try to stick up for me. You just sat there with Seamus and Dean. Tell them about your diary. I'm done helping people. Never again. Harry, you may not be popular anymore, but people still need your help. You're Harry Potter! No, I'm not! Harry Potter! What? What are they laughing at? Everything that made me who I am is, is gone. I was Harry Potter. There was a time when life had meaning Not so long ago Oh, big number turned up the first act, guys. Light, it was easy being the star of the show. There was a time when things were fine. I could make wine from butter. Do what? There was a time. A wine from what? I said butter. Must be. I had a dream about Harry Potter last night, guys. <laughs> I'll make a note. Not about Harry Potter, about the universe. Faith in anyone anymore. The world is a terrible, lonely place. I'm ready to see what happened to you after you killed your father. Oh, Tom, 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 Tom. How can Tom and Draco be the most likable people on this guy? It's so strange. I was hopeful when I was good inside. Everyone said that I was evil Maybe they were right What a voice! I changed my name I went insane I've never felt so little We've only ever heard him doing the, the over-the-top Voldemort voice But this voice they could love me When I was Thomas Riddle Got a great singing voice, guys. It's nice to actually finally hear it. Because obviously you say, ah, ah, and normally any. Any. I've fallen from up high. Got the parallels. Have said goodbye. I'm not an angel, not the answer. I'm just going nowhere faster. There was a time I was a hero, but that hero's gone. I can hardly see him. Everyone's moved on. Singing lyrics that you can yes, only just yes, know is very impressive. Throw me away. Go on, forget yesterday. And I'll try forgetting too. Oh, that's so true, actually. The fact he's only just read, he's reading these lyrics by, like, you know, only but the last I couple of hours from what, from what I got. Just like it was before. I wish it was just like it was before. Harry. Oh, Rod and Hermione, of course. Away from you. No, don't say that, Harry. Let's just. Let's go back to the Great Hall and we'll try to explain things. I'm not gonna go back to the Great Hall, don't you understand, Hermione? I'm never gonna go back. What? I'm leaving oh, Hogwarts forever. You saw what happened back there, nobody wants me here. And you know what, I don't blame you. Who would care about a loser like me? Losers like us, that's who. Harry. <laughs> the crowd's are boring. There 
was a, a time before I was adored by every son and daughter. There was a time when I was happy, when I was oh. What a way to wrap an act up, guys. Please don't go and have uh, the spider again. Oh no, we're still going. We're still going. I was going to say, if Aragog so is just, comes in just at the end the, of the act. Return. For years I've wandered, mastering the dark arts, becoming something all would come to fear. And now, tonight, Those eyes, guys. I call on the wizards and witches who entered my service long ago. Now we will know who will be brave enough to return and who will be foolish enough to stay away. Tonight, I begin my war on this world. Tom Riddle is no more. I am the oh. Voldemort! Topless Voldemort! <laughs> and all the girls get wild! <laughs> Oh wow! All we need is Quirrell. <laughs> wow, the transformation, eh? Oh, that was impressive! Dragos! No! It can't be you! No, Jimmy. I'm back. I'm not dead. Nor am I alive. Yet! Don't try to stop me, Jimmy. You haven't got any choice in the matter anymore. I've become far too strong to resist now my slave to the chamber of secrets oh my god come <laughs> why you watching this like that in a movie that would have made it Snake. oh my slave that is yeah. so cool yeah. 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 Uh, actually it's actually very cool that the, pup the puppies are acting alongside me as well you will have final bread. Lord, 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 that, so, that, so that is the end of the first act, guys. We shall start the second act next time. And like I say, it should be a little bit longer. But my goodness, that was great. I mean, that, that song was blooming wonderful. And it was great to hear Tom's actor singing without the... Because obviously in the first one, he's singing every other second and tap dancing as well. But here he was just straight up singing. Uh, he's got a great singing voice, as does everyone in this, of course. But again, Harry's actor... I believe, like, was given the script on the plane over or something like that. Which is very impressive, guys, as it is. But the f singing is on a whole other level, guys, you know? Knowing how the tune is going to go, knowing where to, where, where to take your breaths and everything. I'd imagine that he prioritised the singing and then just did as good as he could with the rest. And, it, you know, again, the script's been there... I, I, I just completely... I, I don't even notice after, after, like, a few seconds, you know? So... Good on him. Great to hear uh, Tom's actual singing voice. And like I was saying, guys, it's so weird that Voldemort and Draco are like two of the, my, the, the best, most lovable things about this Harry Potter universe. They really are. But Draco's finally got the power that he wanted, though, incredibly. We heard about Lil, Lilderoy at one point, Gilderoy's brother. And yeah, those I, I told you the Snickers were going to come back, guys. That's a very strange colour for a Snickers packet. I'm trying to think, is it like a Snick Snickers light? There isn't, a there isn't a white chocolate Snickers, surely. Unless that's just what the, the no, I'm sure that's not what the American package pack pack packages colour is. Hmm. Either way, not that it matters anyway. <laughs> But that really was the last straw, and he blooming. Uh, I think he took out his entire family with one spell, which is pretty damn amazing. 
that was a that was a strange start to this video, guys. With the granddad and gra and grandmother, wasn't really ready for that. To be honest, I'll say this: a very Potter senior year has has more wait what moments than the other two. They really do, you know. Like like the other, the first two were very silly, but this one takes the silliness to an extra level where it just makes no bloody sense at all. Uh, which I'm not complaining about at all. But yes, that was a very strange start, but. What a beautiful song to finish. And also the dueling song was badass as well. That was so, so cool. Um, and Malfoy got to sing as well. Because obviously, often he, he, he goes to sing and it cuts off. As, as you know. My, but yeah, I, like I say, guys, I did actually... I just remembered. You know, like, when, when, like you're going about your day and then something reminds you that you had a dream. About something. I had a dream that there was like a Hogwarts-themed... Uh, I guess shop, but I think it was more of that. I think it was like more amusements and everything. Like, very close to my house. <laughs> you know, it's that sort of dream, you know. It's like you know, a place which you know really, really, really well, but then there's just something new that's just sort of plonked in the middle of it. And I went in there and I thought, oh, cool, I wonder if I'm going to be able to get, get some vegan butter beer. Because I have, I have heard that, that, that it is available in certain places. And I went in there to have a look, and there was a sign specifically saying, by the way, there is no vegan... There is no, there is no vegan butter beer. Like you know, first thing you know, it's obviously presumably they get asked it a lot. So that was fun. So I, I didn't have any butter beer that dream. But yes, guys. What I gather, some of the places, you know, like the theme, you know, yeah, like the studio tours and all this, these sort of places, um, do do a type of do do, uh, do do type a type of uh, butter beer that is vegan. Then again, there, there, there is no specific um, recipe, is there? Because you go on YouTube and there's loads of videos of how to make butterbeer and everything. In fact, as I remember, there was one, one vegan one which said that you just use vegan vegan uh, whipped cream. Like you said, you know, spray cream, which you can get. So maybe I'll try, try making it sometime. Either way, guys, this was a one... This is, I gotta say that guys, that first scene was strange, and it's it, it, it reminded me of that Aragog scene. Of it was really good, really good scene, really funny and everything, very good everything. But my biggest emotion to take away from it is, you know, just like, wait, what just happened? The dad's performance was outrageous, and he did look a bit like Sam uh, from Lord of the Rings. He actually really does. Either way, guys, wonderful stuff. Cool seeing Voldemort's backstory. And like I say, guys, Voldemort, they, they, they make... It's going to be interesting, guys, going... Doing these book reviews, finding out if we do get a more sympathetic look at... At Voldemort. More than the movies, you know? Because obviously, you, you, have, you have in the movies Voldemort... Being at the orphanage, but it's not like a scene where we're meant to we're, we're, we're meant to be more fearful of him than feeling sorry for him. But I, I love a sympathetic villain, guys. I really, really do. And so, this music is absolutely giving me that that vibe of you know feeling sorry for Voldemort. You know, so we'll see. If that's the case. I feel it might be, but it might be the case in the books. You know. Always reminds me of. Um, oh, I'm gonna go on this. I gotta keep it short, video. Okay, there is a Japanese movie called Ringu, also known as Ring, uh, and an American remake called The Ring. And you know, on both, like you know, the 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 villain of the piece, I guess you could say, um, is scary. But only only Ringu, the original, gives any sense of actually feeling terrible for them. Uh, and that's why it's one of my favorite. It's genuinely one of my favorite movies, guys. Go and watch Ringu now, and you'll probably think it's awful. Uh, it's you know dated, but all I, I don't. I just think it's great. I just really enjoy it, and I like and I like the sympathetic, the sympathy that you can take away for the villain. Whereas in the American one, I don't think there's any sympathy at all. I, 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 I wasn't a fan of the American one, guys. But for what I gather, the Ring is more popular than Ringu now, anyway. So. Let me know what you think in the comments. But yes, in my opinion, um, the 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 
Ringu, the Japanese version, also known as Ring, uh, is better, in my opinion. I was going to say the original version, but I can't say that because there was actually a t for made-for-TV uh, Ring um, show made before the movie Ringu. I get so blimmin' sidetracked. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so, thank you so much for watching, guys. This was excellent. On to the second act. And this it's such a... It always... That you always end off the, the first act with like a real, you know, pivotal moment. This is perfect. Harry's leaving. Voldemort's back. Ginny's going in the Chamber of Secrets with the Basilisk. Uh, yes. Great stuff, guys. Let's get on to the, on to the second act next time. I need to take this Christmas out because it's so hot, guys. <laughs> we need to go to the all that good stuff. I'm the Video Gamer and I'll see you next time.